Have you ever been a win, part of a win like that? And what was kind of the celebration like for you? Um, have I ever been a part of a win like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, yeah, man, that it was just great. Like, that's why I came here to 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 play big time football, to play in big time games and and win games like this. And the feeling is just unreal. Two sacks for you tonight. What was kind of working for you and I guess the defensive front as a whole? Man, we just go to work every day. That's all it is. And I just, you feel me, just come out there and play my game. Don't play their game, play my game. To have the ability to get to the quarterback like that in a game like this, I mean, you guys were living in the backfield. How important is that, especially when, you know, the quarterback on your side of the field was banged up? It was really important. Even coming into the week, I was telling some of our guys, like, watching their film, it doesn't seem like Georgia gives up that many sacks at all. So I told them, like, it's going to be on us to set the tone for the defense and really the team. So, yeah. What have you seen y'all at defensive line room? It felt like y'all have just turned it up another gear these past three games. I mean, what, what have y'all sensed as a room that y'all, like any play that y'all can get back to that uh, backfield? It's just, to be honest, like after that LSU game, even after the Kentucky game, you know, we just, like Coach Joyner preaches it all the time, like we feel like it's on us to set the tone of the defense. You know, if, if, if the quarterback can't throw the ball and they can't run the ball, then they can't win the game, so yeah. How did y'all uh, bounce back as a defense after that first drive where y'all have to go on the field real quick um, and give up a touchdown? So how did y'all bounce back after that and allow only three more points the rest of the game? I mean, we knew we were uh, we knew that we were put in a in a bad position and we really almost stopped them. They got lucky on that uh, on the fourth down and we like I said before, we love those type of moments. So after that. After after we stopped them the first time, I told I told some of our guys I was like they're not gonna score again. We like this game don't even need to be close. Like we don't, I don't think they're on our level. Talk about the environment. It was a very special one, even throughout all the rain and all the weather and stuff. Uh, it seemed like you guys as a defense really fed on that, getting some huge third down stops, even that fourth down stop in the fourth quarter. Uh, just what did that environment mean to you just with crappy weather and everything like that, top three team coming in? Man, uh, with the rain, you know, we know we knew we had some adversity. Adversity. Luckily, it rained this week earlier in practice, so we got we got the practice in it. But man, that shout out the fans that that environment was electric, man. It was it was amazing to to see all of the fans come out and just show support and how loud they were. You know, I seen that we we broke a, a, an attendance record. So shout out the fans. Defensively speaking, do you feel like the game got easier for you guys in the second half as y'all were gaining more momentum, getting forcing turnovers? Do y'all feel like the game got easier for you guys throughout, throughout the second half? To be honest, I think we just – I like how you put it, you know what I'm saying? It got easier, but I think we just – like we knew that Georgia is a team that has been down – more than we were just, up. they've been down more than we were up on them today. And we know that they're a team that has come back from great adversities. They came back from uh, losing, losing games in a big margin and things like that. So we just knew as a defense and as a team that we had to keep our, our foot on their necks and not give them any room to breathe. And we did that. This may be an obvious question to answer, but how does it big is it having the bye week where it is now before these final two games? Man, it's really, really big, especially after after a game uh, like the Georgia game. You know, we got a couple of guys beat up, so it's good to have a bye week. Hopefully, we can uh, bring Trey Harris back and get a lot of other guys back healthy. After this bye week, obviously, it's kind of a homecoming for you going to Gainesville. Just how much is that game has been on your mind, and how, like how much are you looking forward to going back there? It ain't been on my mind too much because I've been, you know, focusing on the other games, but. Coming up to this week is gonna gonna be on, on my on my mind a lot. I, I look uh, forward a lot to uh, going back to Gainesville and yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you guys.